Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, welcome to Radko Tarot. This is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for a Gemini star sign. Uh, and for that reason, the reading itself is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with uh, every single different Gemini. But uh, if you want more personal insight, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my private services for a private reading and their pricing as well which starts from uh, just as little as uh, $12. So uh, that being said, going to the Gemini reading, the first card, uh, which is marking the topic of your Gemini's week, that is going to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to the situation or how you should not proceed on forward taking on the Wheel of Fortune here. Then the third card, it is about the positive approach toward the situation itself intention wise and you know what uh, what you can uh, what you can go for and so on and so forth and the last card that we do have this is going to be the final outcome of growth should you follow here the guidance of tarot and uh, that is going to be the emperor so once again we do have the wheel of fortune first card with uh, the second one this is going to be the seven of pentacles third card that we do have this is going to be the two of uh, cups and the last one, uh, that will be the Emperor card. So because we do have the Two of Cups on the third position here with the Wheel of Fortune on the first position, guys, uh, very superficial interpretations of the card, uh, that it, of the cards, this is very practical interpretation here, is that unexpected love could come around for, throughout the week, especially if you have been single for a very, very long time and... Um, with these cards, you may feel a bit apprehensive of uh, taking advantage of this uh, un unexpected interest from someone that it is uh, directed to you, but the cards themselves are advising you to take that leap of faith and try to make something out of it. That is uh, entirely practical um, <clears throat> interpretation, and if someone came to me for uh, you know, private reading and they told me that they have been single for a long time and I drew these cards, that, that is the answer here, right? It's just, you, you cannot get these one wrong um, <clears throat> with such narrative. But going for the first card completely in general, Wheel of Fortune, it does point that this week is going to be a, an a, how can I place it, a very unblocking week in a sense of that you are to stir many of your situations with the Wheel of Fortune. As the Wheel of Fortune itself represents the fortunate circumstances happening, allowing you to unblock yourself either career-wise or as well either relationship-wise. It kind of like represents the luck of the draw, you know? So you hope for something to happen and bang throughout the week. It does happen, which gives you the means to proceed forward with, as I said, your situations. Even more, the Wheel of Fortune sometimes represents an, a... Um, great change, you know, the means to provoke great change. And for some of you, this is going to be as well, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity to uh, improve your circumstances and to further one's goal. But one needs to be very careful with the Wheel of Fortune because the Wheel of Fortune does represent the chaos in the environment. So throughout this week, everything around you is going to be plunged into chaos, but this chaos is not going to affect you in any way. Just on the contrary, you can pick up those opportunities which are arising from the chaos of the situation and take advantage of them. And following this narrative, the Wheel of Fortune um, implicates the statements that uh, the fruits of your incorporation throughout the week uh, with your endeavors either sweet or bitter are going to be reaped so you have to be very careful you know what your aims are 
are they something productive or are they something destructive with this card it is highly advisable not to seek any kind of retribution but just you know uh, kind of like focus or attend to those kind of endeavors which are going to give you a personal unfoldment rather than to stop yourself and try to um, block someone else to achieve certain things uh, so you can be quite um, you can expect to be quite busy career wise with this card and as well you know to be uh, to not lack a amount of attention when it comes to social circle and personal life as well the accompanied card with the wheel of fortune this is going to be the high priestess and uh, the formation here is active um, enemies that card only shade that it adds here it does point that the time for seclusion is over and now one needs to step forth um, under the spotlights if you may say it that way and do something to stir their situations so the second card which is a about the um negative approach that is going to be the seven of pentacles and in this particular standpoint it does represent the apprehensiveness one can have the hesitation and the reluctancy here to uh, basically you know indulge themselves with this maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity as the seven of pentacles represents a couple of things here first one may be very uh, how can i place doubtful into the um results that one is going to get from taking advantage of this uh, opportunity and as well this card could represent that one could hope that even better one is going to come around after this week so the appearance of this card into a negative position it does says only one thing that right now is the moment of action and uh, this week i mean is the moment of action and you should not hesitate to take it so you do want that promotion you do want this uh, evaluated place into your career and for throughout this week you have the opportunity to chase it well you gotta take it knowing that no better one is gonna come around in the near future same goes regarding relationship i already say you know you do have an expected suitor coming around well you you gotta take it because maybe no better one is gonna come around for the uh in the near future that is uh the accompanied card here this is going to be the ace of pentacles the formation that these cards form is a passive supporters so uh, it's definitely well the shade that the the, the ace adds here is uh, one thing only it says long term so basically what i said is that you may not kind of like encounter a so effective you know opportunity or rather like a chance so effective chance within the near future and that's why you know you should rather like play a little bit risky for throughout the week instead of sticking on the already proven concepts should i say uh should i say that way uh the shade as well it does look like that you may have a little bit of a disruption here and there into the harmony of one's uh, uh i would say relationships but let's say interactions in between you and your colleagues in between you and your friends and so on and so forth it is because you are going to be one step ahead of everybody and that's why people may not understand you fully where you are coming from and what you are planning to do so um, <clears throat> going to the third card here guys which is the positive approach toward the situation oops excuse me that will be the two of cups so the two of cups it's obviously a card of cooperation we do have two people making making contact but in this case it does represent sharing the good fortune with someone else uh, doing so uh, it's gonna allow you to uh, first of all you know attract followers uh, combined or rather like yeah, dedicated to your goal and as well is going to allow and share your happiness to make it double double the happiness so you do have a good fortune you know you can share it with your current wife or husband you can share it with someone of your friends with your family or with the co-workers as well so uh, let's say you do have a major breakthrough into your project it's not gonna hurt if you allow someone else to be involved as well so yeah they can collect as well good fruits of uh, their labor and that way you may 
you know, um, establish a, a very good friendship, very good cooperation as well, and a very good partnership intimately wise, especially if we're talking about intimacy here, that card asks you to truly allow someone to, um, I cannot say, you know, info, infiltrate your life, maybe that is not the right term I should use, but more like, you know, take a participation in your life, just so you can see if you share things with them, um, <clears throat> Are you gonna feel less poignant about those things, especially if they are poignant? And if you share a good fortune with them, are you not gonna feel more exhilarated about your your good fortune in general? But this card here, uh, as a how you should approach the situation, is that you should always seek someone to form something third with. You know, two people combined are forming something third, um, something bigger. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Six of Swords and uh, what we have is a passive, um, passive neutrals with this uh, formation. So uh, as the formation presents, it me it looks like that you are going to have a little bit of a rough time, you know, um, convincing people into your righteousness and as well into the productivity of your goals well regarding career or relationship. But uh, ultimately, should you be gentle enough, you know, and should you be persistent enough, and especially if you are not shy enough to kind of display your emotions, your attitude and your feelings as well, uh, great things are to be achieved. And this card here points that there will be a, a common ground reached in between you and your partner into your relationship or in between you and your new suitor and so on and so forth. But also the shade of the card here points that if you decide you can go on your own, it is just is going to be a bit harder. Uh, that being said, because being on your own, you will know that you ain't going to have anybody to uh, back you up when things get really ugly. I'm not saying that things are going to get ugly, but in case they, they go ugly, should you cooperate with someone, you will always have someone's, uh, someone to, uh, to back up you or to have your back. Um, at that stage, otherwise it's gonna be a bit more stressful should you go alone with this endeavor, with this uh, once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, simply, it's the, the whole thing will be like traversing a, a very fearsome threshold, which is going to provoke change. Like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a great change, but it will require some risky actions. And it's better to face those risky actions when you have someone to have your back instead of being on your own. And uh, so going at the end of the reading here, guys, which is the last card, that will be the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot, the Emperor card. So we are seeing you at the end of the week being utilizing very well the chaos that is formed around you, being busy in your career that is going to prove you very, very reliable, someone who can exert structure into the chaos that has formed. I could give you a quick example. Uh, your company face crisis, you know, and you show yourself capable and reliable as well to exert structure and to rule the chaos because you are to present yourself very strong with this card at the end because only the weak people does seek for order, everything to be ordered, everything to be in a, in a systematic plan. With this combination, you're going to be the strong one because the strongest, they prefer to rule the chaos. And it is what you're going to do simply at the end of the week, you are to establish rulership over the chaos that is happening in your environment, either career wise or either relationship wise, establishing a very solid structure in there, uh, which will allow you to face every day's ups and downs with much more ease and as well will allow you to clear more room for more personal endeavor and for more personal time. Uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the... Um, Four of Pentacles, we do have double fours, so definitely we're talking about solidity, stability, consolidating, and you know, kind of like solidifying one's uh, position, either career or either relationship wise. But with uh, the shade, because the uh, formation is active neutrals, the shade here points that you are not going to be alone in there, meaning that you are you will have to take care of people. Because with the Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, usually when one focus on monetary success or one focus on a um, on solidity, 
uh, on their own, you know, they are going to achieve it with the Four of Pentacles, but that creates lonely and empty existence. However, when the shade is, uh, when the combination is active neutrals here, with, especially with the Emperor card, definitely you are going to have a people to rely on you for certain things, career or relationship wise. And you are not going to be alone there. Therefore, you are not going to be uh, experiencing lonely and empty existence, although you will be able to structure a very, very comfortable, uh, comfortable zone for yourself in which you are going to feel like the emperor of your small empire. So that being said, uh, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 25th to March 20, uh, 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, uh, this was a general reading for a Gemini star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Gemini's. But if you want more personal touch, meaning you know, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for its future. That is subject for a private reading and for such you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded and from $15 from the live readings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.